early Christians were unashamed of their love for and faith in Jesus Christ. These apostles were eyewitnesses of the resurrection. They knew that Jesus was alive. More than that, they had known him personally, and they had been instructed by him. Jesus had changed their lives completely. Even so, they still needed the power of the Holy Spirit. Prior to the day of Pentecost, they were still apprehensive because they were fearful of the Jewish authorities. But after the Holy Spirit was poured out on the early church on the day of Pentecost, everything changed. On that day, the early disciples received power, just as Jesus had promised. They went on to become bold public witnesses of Jesus Christ. Just like these early disciples, we too, as believers in Jesus, need His power to become bold, unashamed witnesses of Christ. In Acts chapter 5, we read that the Jewish authorities once again arrested the apostles, and they threw them into a common prison. These early disciples were disgracefully treated like common criminals. We see such hostility against Jesus Christ and his followers. Why? It's because Jesus comes not to accommodate us, but to confront us. Nobody can be neutral concerning the Son of God. Remember that Jesus said, whoever is not for me is actually against me, and he who is not gathering unto me is scattering away from me. Remember Jesus also said, don't think that I came to bring peace. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. Jesus is the Prince of Peace, but His peace is not a political peace of expediency. Jesus comes to give us peace with God, but we cannot serve two masters. If we are to experience that peace of God that Jesus offers, we must clearly choose Jesus as our Lord and Master. Nobody can have it both ways. This is why these apostles had earlier told the Jewish authorities, you decide for yourselves whether it's right in the sight of God to obey you rather than God. We can imagine that no doubt this was a strong challenge to the apostles' faith. Even though they didn't want to be arrested or thrown into a common prison, still they knew that Jesus was alive. They were eyewitnesses to his resurrection. As such, they couldn't help but talk about what they had seen and heard. The resurrection of Jesus was not merely exciting, amazing news. This was the greatest news the world could ever hear. It was, and still is, the only message that saves. Therefore, they couldn't help but preach this most amazing, precious news about the resurrection of Jesus and the hope of salvation through faith in His name. We also see here how, in their human weakness, God's strength was again glorified. We read that at night, an angel came and opened the prison doors and brought them out. But instead of telling them to go run and escape, the angel instructed them, go stand in the temple and boldly preach to the people all the words of this life. In other words, go proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. The Christian life is a supernatural life of faith. Our witness as Christians is also a supernatural witness. When we have the boldness of God's Holy Spirit through faith in God's Son, then God will support us and strengthen us in our human weakness with the amazing delivering power of His Spirit. I want to ask you a question. What has Jesus done for you? I want to encourage you, don't be afraid to tell others who you know Jesus to be. When you do, God will back you up with His power and with His grace. Thank you.